So now might be a good time to explain why I came to Phuket, even though I don't really love Phuket. Uh, I actually lived here for a couple years when I was doing Muay Thai. What's up guys, my name is Johnny. I'm gonna be training here at Phuket Top Team for three months and hopefully having a MMA or Muay Thai fight at the end of it. I'm gonna give you guys a video tour. It's uh, the grand openings in a few days. So everything is brand new. Um, and you can check out the gym first before anywhere else. Uh, we're going to check out the Muay Thai area here at Phuket Top Team. Uh, huge bags, we've got the bowling bag that we're keeping here. All brand new, awesome pair of techs. Uh, we're checking out the And it's just a, such a big city, it's hard to get around. It's expensive. Uh, now with the Russians, everything is super expensive, especially accommodation. Uh, but my buddy said, Johnny, I'm going out of town. I'm going to, taking, I'm going to Disneyland. Can you come? Uh, house it for for a week or two and I said ah, I don't really want to and he's like you'd be doing me a favor mate I got a nice big house for you million dollar mansion and villa in Phuket he's like just c come on down for a week and I was like ah, okay so here I am I feel this place is going to be amazing Look, laundry guys I'm honestly a bit confused <laughs> because I have no information about his house. I've never been here before. And I started opening these doors. Look what I see inside. So this is clearly a bedroom. The TV's, huge TV is not mounted. Uh, like five trillion pillows. Here's another bedroom. Huge closet. It looks like someone was living here. This one has a TV at least. That's what the view is like. Oh, nice view. All right, and it looks like there's more. Maybe this one has a bathroom. Wow, this is a nice... All right, well, you know what? Even if there's not more to the house, I can live here, I'd be happy. I want to air it out, but I don't want to let mosquitoes in, so let me close these. And now let's see what's in the main house. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> guys, how absolutely incredible is this place? I had no idea it was this big. This pool table, guys, oh, the, okay, there's two pool tables. I think this is a standard size. And then this pool table here is so big. Just to kind of give you guys a better idea of how big this place is. Watch. This is six feet. I don't want to reach half the table. Welcome <laughs> to a million dollar villa in Phuket, guys. I'm staying here. Get ready for another Aces High Lifestyles, your VIP journey in for the lives and loves of today's lucky winners who hit the jackpot in life's wheel of fortune. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Ever since I was a kid, I would watch TV shows like this and just dream about what it would be like to ever even be able to spend a night in a million dollar mansion. I know that a lot of houses actually in California are million dollars now, so it's not as uh, it's not as crazy as it used to be, but this is uh, one of those dream houses that I've always thought, what would it be like to actually stay here? Let's open this door. Look at this. Private pool outside. Beautiful. Ooh. Incredible, guys. 
incredible. And I think there's two more big rooms I haven't seen yet. Let's take a look. Well, here's the pool room, so I'm assuming this is the master. Oh, well, maybe it's not the master. Maybe this is... Look how big this TV is. God, guys. So the reason why the place is a little bit less is they left really early in the morning. They had an early morning flight. And they were originally going to have their maid stay just take care of the place. But I think last second, that didn't work out. So he's asked me to come uh, house it, make sure everything's okay. God, did you see how big this couch is? It's incredible. What is this? Is this another room? Is this like storage? A closet? And then I guess this is another master bedroom, I guess. Oh, this one's nice. With the... Dual masters. <laughs> Guys, I can't even explain how incredible this place is, how big these TVs are. It's, it's unbelievable. Guys, I've been to Phuket for about an hour, maybe two hours. Anyways, went to go get some pizza, and I decided to take my friend's bike that he left for me. And on the way back, the timing belt snaps. You're fixing it now. Here it is. Completely just snapped. So what happens is the bike kind of just can't engage in gear. It just slows down. The problem with every road in, Tha in Thailand is people drive super fast on them, like it's a highway, even though it's not really a freeway. There's a Russian girl behind me was coming way too fast and she saw me slowing down and just she hit the front brake which you never want to do and she started skidding and she's skidding behind me like imagine like some drifter and i see her in my mirror drifting towards me well i'm still going but i can't add any more gas i'm trying to add gas but i can't the power to the to the wheels and i'm kind of just slowing down so i'm going to like from like 50 to 40 to 30 to 20 to 10 and the bike just stops and she's an inch behind me skidding luckily she's okay she just has a couple scratches on her uh but oh my god it happened just just like up the road these two thai guys are lucky to help me push the bike here to this mechanic that's still working. I gave some of my pizza to these kids, so they're eating it now. Swati cup. Swati cup. Swati cup. Hello, Mike. Good. <laughs> Tasty, Mike. Tasty, Mike. Cup. And they're fixing the bike. But oh my God, guys, I've literally been here for less than a few hours. And I almost, I almost wasn't gonna bring the helmet either because he didn't have a normal helmet. He only had this like super fancy one that's super tight. And I was like, ah, I'm not going far. I'm just gonna go like a kilometer away, like half a mile away. Thank God I was wearing it because I, I almost died too. If that girl crashed into me and I hit, I would have fucked. Or if it was like one of these crazy vans that didn't see me and just like was going way too fast maybe they wouldn't hit the break in time but ooh, scary guys this is another reason why i like being in phuket you have to drive a motorbike to get around because the freaking phuket mafia but don't, some people don't have lights some people drive way too fast it's it's, it's crazy here yes hello uh-huh 
What? 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 What do you want? Oh, you're watching Glory? What are you watching? Ah. One cop. And this cat is watching it for us too. All right, so they just got done changing the timing belt. We got done eating the pizza. It was 650 baht, which is $19. Not bad. Okay, bye bye, cop. Bye bye. Come on, cop. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Welcome, guys. Oh, you didn't hear me. Oh, welcome to Phuket. Thank you, Jane. Oh, Come inside, guys. Oh, sorry. I was busy, guys. I was busy. Come in. Come in, Chris. Come in, Chris. Put your stuff down. Put your bag down. Welcome. Welcome, forget. Ready for the tour? Yeah. Right. Okay, here's bedroom number one. Oh, okay. really? This is a big TV, but it's uh, not set up. Here's bedroom number two. This one has an in-suite, Chris. You. In-suite bathroom. No, I think someone just left their stuff here. Really? Yeah. Okay. We have the laundry room there. And here's the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. All right. All right. Okay. Which, which room do you want? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Mike. <laughs> There's extra pillows in here, Chris. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's the backyard. That's the backyard, Chris. That's it. That's in the door. That's the backyard. Is it? Yeah. Where are you? I'm gonna sleep in the tent. No. Okay, good night, guys. Go sleep. <laughs> Go. Sorry, Go to you. Okay. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Uh, I'll tell you when I come in. Close. Okay, shy, cup. <laughs> what do you think? Welcome. So here we have a snooker, Chris. Yeah, here's the actual backyard. Yard. Did you clean up? Yeah, I cleaned up for you guys. Did you really? As best as I could. I'm not a professional. Okay, so there's like definitely. Did you choose where they should be? That's okay, my belay. My belay? It says my belay. My belay. I barely figured out how to turn on the AC until an hour ago. I know. Okay, you want to see your room? Do you want to see mine first or your room? Let's see your room. Let's see your room. Just tell us who you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a choice. Okay. So, Chris, tell me. If this was the only other option, would it be adequate? What the hell is this? It's like baby baby room, I think. Yeah. Okay. But actually, your room's there. Is <laughs> These rooms don't look, these rooms look like, not lived in. They look like they're... It's locked. Oh shit, is it? I hope it's not locked. Because I can't, I don't have a key. Oh fuck. Uh, How can it be locked? 
I don't know. Shit. There's no, there's no, there's no lock. Did you open it before? I mean, I just came from that. I just closed the door because of the uh, AC. I bet you just because it's a weird. I think, you, I think you could just force it open. Uh, I'm not. It doesn't look like there's a lock. I know. Right? Let me, let me try. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Paul, it's not my fault. I don't know. Oh, John. Oh, the door. Dude, that door. That door is off the hook. Is off the it's like off the hinge. But what are you gonna do? I don't know. Oh, no. you're gonna oh so you're gonna do it? Okay, let's see if it's uh, unlocked from the outside. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to the mansion of terror. What if? What if we lock ourselves in? I know. Is there a lock? Is there even a? I don't even know if there's a balcony. Okay, let's hope, hopefully that's unlocked. Nope. Oh. It's bigger during the day. <laughs> I got tired just walking around. <laughs> hey, Johnny, fix the door, don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to pretend like that didn't happen. Oh, fuck, it's hot in here. Fuck, I turned on the AC. I don't know why it's like that. I turned it on. You know, Chris? Wait. Let me go get the room. Is there? There's only one remote for the whole house, by the way. There's not one remote for the whole house. I swear to God, I. Happy birthday, Natalia! <laughs> Welcome to our Happy mansion. Cheers. 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 Natalia, can you play? Play. Play something. Same, same. This this door is okay. Why is it hot in here? I don't know. Oops. What? Uh huh. I know. No, this is only closet. No, there's a bedroom here. Yeah. 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 Good morning. I slept here last night. Super comfortable bed. A little bit too soft my my taste. And it was so hot. You want to know why? All these windows, all glass. The glass windows look nice, but they're hot. That's how this place looks during the day. God, it's only 9.30 in the morning. It's already so hot outside. Oh my God. All right, I'm out of the plants. Time to water up some plants. On the way home, I'm just gonna stop by this market to see if I can buy some fruits or vegetables. Always these bananas though. And some desserts. I should stop earlier. Good. Sago. Okay. Okay. Well, as you can see, I'm back home now. It's funny, this green felt matches the green pool, but the pool guys are gonna come in two days so I can finally swim. And this is my office. There's no uh desks here the only table there is is outside but it's way too hot so 
I'm sitting here using this. Uh, there is this counter behind me, but it's facing the kitchen, and I want to face the pool that are outside just for like a nice view. So that's where I've been sitting to work, to co work, guys. So Paul's friend, Alan, is coming over now. Never met the guy. Uh, ironically, he messaged me from his mom's Facebook account because I don't, I guess he doesn't have Facebook. So I thought it was like some 80 year old grandma that was going to come hang out with me. And I have no idea if he's staying here or if he's just going to come for the day and hang out. But if he's staying here, we got to figure out another room situation. There's six bedrooms, but the air conditioning, we can't figure out in half of the rooms. So high, high value problems, guys. I, I don't, I've never had a million dollar problem like this. Million dollar villa problem. But what we do have some snacks. Uh, I think it's in the other fridge. By the way, it has fridges on both sides, which, which is kind of nice if you have a system, but I kind of forget where I put everything. Where's the stuff I just bought? So I'm gonna put this with some ice, a little dessert. I'm gonna tear it open instead. Oi, some Saigo over ice. Mmm. Here we go, guys. Beautiful, right? Well, Chris is back, Natalia, so we're gonna play a little pool here. Hit the ball into the hole. No! Wrong ball. Oh. No, not the white one. Hit the other color one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You stay in there and... Well, these guys are gonna hop on the bike and go watch the sunset from a place called the windmill. It's beautiful. But I really wanna swim. And since our pool needs to be clean, I'm gonna go to the resort nearby called Stay. And uh, hopefully use theirs. I'm gonna walk down this long driveway just to even get out. How did this even open and close? Wear your helmet. Why are you not wear? Oh, Oi. Have fun. Bye. Good luck. It's a very dangerous and bad habit. A lot of Thai people don't like wearing helmets. And a lot of foreigners definitely don't like wearing it. But it is dangerous to ride a motorbike, guys. You look at all these beautiful villas nearby. Most of these are rentals. And some of them are still being built. So I think stays on our left, but stay wild. And Muay Thai is here on the right. Let's go check out the cookout. Sorry, cup. Hello, sorry, cup. So this is the Muay Thai gym, guys. Support us, stay fit. Oh, wow, we have chickens, eggs. Wow, so many. That's cool, guys. Can eat freshly uh, hashed eggs here. So this is part of Stay Wild's program. Uh, I definitely want to eat some of these eggs. Sounds good. So he's saying that those eggs are really delicious that the uh, these chickens produce. We have little banana trees right here as well. This place is cool. I think normally that's open, but it's hot. Right? It was hot. That's why it was closed. And they even have an outside obstacle course. How cool is this? I'm not gonna go inside right now, but I just wanna quickly show you guys. It's kind of a marine style obstacle course you can go through. And here's the Muay Thai gym. Muay Thai's upstairs. All right, looks like they're closed today. Probably because of Songkran. But look at this beautiful view from up here. All right, so here is the pool. There's a little cafe restaurant here. It's mostly outdoors. Kind of reminds me of uh, the veranda. It's nice, right? 
So it's actually a series of holes starting here next to the, so starting here next to the uh, cafe and then it tears down, down, down. That's cool. Oh, that was a nice swim, guys. Oh, that was a really nice swim. I miss it. I really love swimming. That's the one thing that I miss when I'm in Ukraine. Access to like a sea or a nice pool. I know some of the gyms have a pool, but they're all indoors. So I don't really like it that much anyways. You don't have that fresh air, you know? So when I'm in Ukraine, I only swim in like lakes and stuff. That's one thing Thailand has. Every condo, every resort, every every place, every villa has a pool. I love it. And this one has at least three that I've seen so far. Got room here if someone wants to come. Good night, fam. See you tomorrow.